Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be camping for one night in the Green Mountain National Forest in Vermont. Uh, the campground is called Silver Lake. It is in the town Goshen, Vermont. Been here a few times over the years. Uh, I've never filmed anything here though. Um, the hike to the campground is less than a mile, I believe. It's not too bad. Um, the plan is hike in, set up camp, make some food, have a fire, enjoy the evening. The weather is calling for chances of thunderstorms tonight. There's actually a thunderstorm advisory. Um, I'm sure know how to pick the nights to go camping, I guess. Um, but we'll just you know, play it by ear, I guess. So I'm gonna put on my backpack and when you get walking. As the sign says, it's a 0.6 mile hike into the campground. It's $10 a night, so that's pretty reasonable. There are vaulted toilets here and fire pits and picnic tables as well as a bear box on each site. Not gonna film the whole hike in, but if something interesting comes up along the way, I'll, I'll film it. to the intersection here. This is where we're going. Okay, so this is my site. It's all first come first serve here, so I think this will do quite nicely. Overlooks the lake. Some paths down to the water there. Go check that out in a bit. So, my priority now, I have to go back to the pay station, get the envelope, fill it out, and rip off the little tab. this right here. Perfect. Now that the official business is out of the way, I have some camp chores to do here before I can relax. Um, let's check what time it is. 7.07. .07. It's going to be getting dark soon. Maybe in hour of daylight left. I need to check the weather radar, see if there's any storms coming, and then that will tell me which order I'm gonna do things in here. Um, if it looks clear, I'm gonna gather firewood, and then set up my tent. If it looks like a storm is right about to hit me, I'm gonna set up my tent, so my stuff will have a dry place to be, and then I'll gather firewood. So, I think I'm in the clear for now. 
There's definitely some stuff moving around to the north of me. And a big one that just went by here. But... I... I'm right here in this little lake. So... I think I'm okay for the moment. Just checking out the sunset here. Probably not going to be able to enjoy it. I need to work on camp chores. nice. There isn't any road access to this lake or pond, but I've always wanted to come up here in a canoe or a kayak. Problem is, you'd have to carry it, you know, about a mile. I guess it's not a huge deal, especially if you had someone with you to help. Go back up there. We get to work. Okay, we got a decent amount of firewood. Definitely took longer than I wanted it to. I just have this stupid saw. Need to get something better. Um, this is the firewood I was able to get. A bunch of sticks. And then these pieces. I'm going to keep working on processing this stuff. And maybe some of that. Some of that. But it's starting to get dark. I need to set up my tent. So I'm going to do that. Got the tent all set up. Just REI. Half dome. Pretty basic. Alright. Um, well, you know, it's time to cook and settle in for the night. I don't know if it's the best idea ever, but dinner tonight is rice and a little cast iron pan. And it's going to be steak. Now, is it smart to cook steak in a place where there's bears? I don't know. People barbecue all the time. I have neighbors over there. I'm going to do it. It's not the first time I've done this. Um, never had a problem. Do have bear spray. If it really comes down to it. My fire starting technique is just basically a pile of sticks and then got a little fire starter down in there. dry. Looks like that's going to go pretty 
good. I'll basically let this go for a little bit. Make some good coals. Rearrange it a bit and put my pan on there. And pick up the steak. used to be super hard to get back in the day. You'd have to figure out when the trucks were delivering to the stores and you'd have to go there and try to buy as much as you could before they sold out. Um, it's not the case anymore. They actually make this particular beer in Connecticut now, even though the company is a Vermont company. IPA. Use this knife. This. Let's pick it up. Like that. Okay, so cooking the steak still. I'm actually do the rice in my pot on this little backpacking stove. Some remnants of the daylight left out there over the lake. The woods are looking mighty dark though. Well, this is dinner. I know it looks awesome, but it's like rice, yum yum, and steak. So I have a little bit of extra steak cooking over here. Once I'm done cooking here, I'll just put some more wood on there, get that going again. But, yeah, it's definitely dark out. I don't really think you can see anything on the video. There's the campsite. Got a little light on a tree there. Oh my crap. <laughs> so much stuff. You know, obviously if I was actually backpacking, I wouldn't have all this. You know, the pack was pretty heavy coming in here. Um, but, you know, it's less than a mile walk. Not really backpacking. You know, it's like one step below car camping, maybe. You know, you could carry stuff in here in your arms, water jugs, bigger tents, things like that. So, it is what it is. Let's enjoy my meal. 
egg and rice. Fire's going good. It's quiet out. Oh man, there's this helicopter up the by right there. I think it's coming back. I'm gonna try to get this on film. That's it. Oh. I have no idea if that shot up, but clearly there's someone flying around in a helicopter. Bus in the lake. It's hilarious. Badass, I guess. I'm here just trying to chill camping though. There's someone flying a helicopter around. Maybe I should be annoyed. Got everything pretty much cleaned up here for the most part. See that? Turn the light here. Man, it's a lot of work camping, I tell ya. Fire's died down quite a bit. I'm gonna stoke it back up and you know, enjoy it for a bit. Before I head to bed. what I like. Nice fire going. Well, it's just a bunch of sticks, but you know, I don't have any logs here that I can cut up and burn. As I mentioned earlier, I just have that crappy little saw. So, it's not really a whole lot I can do about it. I think it's about bedtime for me. Super dark out. See how I've kind of like sketchily put these logs into this fire. It's kind of funny, but they kind of sit there pretty nice. Okay, well, that's it, in bed. There's the inside of the tent. Some of stuff. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, gonna sign off. I guess if anything happens interesting in the middle of the night, I'll record it. Hopefully that does not happen now. See ya.
It's still really early. It's like 4.30. Birds are already singing. Gonna lie back down, try to get some more sleep. morning. It's about 8 o'clock. Fell asleep again. Sun's up. Looks to be a beautiful day. I'm gonna get up and make some coffee. water here enjoy my coffee hot cocoa this is all good here Okay, I'm going to head to the beach. There's like a park and a beach down here. Go check it out. If this is the beach. I think there's a better spot down here. Okay, we ended up to the dam here. I think that park was the beach. So I'm just gonna go back to there in a second.
Just spin it right down. Okay, see you back there. Going right here. That was fun. Nice dip. Um, I don't have a towel with me, so I'm just drip drying and or getting my shirt all wet. Um, yeah, it's go, time to go back to the campsite and then packing up. So, see you back there. Back at camp to get all of this in the bag. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Well, I guess that's the trip. i um, going to be walking back to the car now. Got everything kind of haphazardly stuffed into this bag. I'm sure it's going to be heavy, as it was coming in here. Um, that's it um, if you made it this far thanks for watching and I hope to keep doing these different camping trips overlanding stuff maybe some other kinds of videos too see ya